There are three types of nucleic acid that you will need to know for this course. They are DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid, RNA or ribonucleic acid, and ATP. I'm not going to talk about DNA or RNA right now because each of these nucleic acids will be discussed in later units. So I just want to talk about ATP. You will need to know what the acronym ATP stands for, and that is adenosine triphosphate. The name of this molecule tells us something about its structure. The prefix tri means three, so the name tells us that there are three phosphate groups in this molecule. The three phosphate groups are attached to one sugar and a single nitrogenous base. Notice the squiggly lines between the phosphate groups. These symbols represent high energy bonds between the phosphate groups. Whenever you see three phosphate groups with these squiggly lines between them, you know it is referring to a molecule called adenosine triphosphate. When one of these bonds is broken, there is a high release of energy, and it is this energy molecule that powers virtually every activity of the cell. ATP is made in an organelle in the cell called the mitochondria. This process is referred to as cellular respiration, and it occurs within the membrane of the mitochondria called the cristae. Essentially, a glucose molecule and oxygen react to produce carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. The formula for this reaction looks like this, and you should be familiar with this equation.